Hey guys, what's going? This is your man Grump. I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear because sometimes we got static in this microphone. So I'm just going to chat for a minute. I'm going to say welcome all. I hope you guys are hearing this clear. But we are here at the uh, Staples um, uh, in Los Angeles, not far from my um, one of my headquarters uh, in this game. And we are headed to Yuma, Arizona. I'm not sure. Let me pull that up. We are going to. Oh no, Oakland. I'm sorry. We're going to Oakland Shippers in Oakland, and that is not that far away. It's 351 miles. So, with that being said, we can chat along the way. Let's get on out of here. Let me put it in drive real fast. All right. I am in my brand new uh, Kenworth W900 with the magic trailer. It's a reefer, a 53 foot reefer with four axles in the, in the rear axle Terrible. So let's get up out of here first. This is a little trick they got a little maze for. They want to test your ability to get in and out. Because you're coming in well the task of now leaving is not that much of a task, but they challenge you. We gotta go to the right. Let me turn off these lights because if not, these, these cars are going to keep going slow because they see the light flash. Okay, this turn is delicate. Mind that stop sign right there. Okay, here we go. We got it. Okay, here we go, people. We didn't make this light, of course. Alright, let's take out a let's take out time to check out the trailer in the uh truck. Yeah, huh? We got the painted gold rims. To match the uh, pinstripe piece. And also the black on black. And the white represents the chrome that's on the truck. So, yeah, I take my pride in matching up my trailers in my truck. That's gonna be something like a signature. You know what I mean? driving on the outside on those turns. But we do have some kind of skipping in the frame. I don't know if you guys are noticing it, but I am noticing it. Use the right lane. Then turn right. It could be because I am uploading two videos as we speak. Turn so right. That could have something to do with it. If it is, I apologize for that, but I'm trying to multitask and make videos and upload them while I make some more, you know, kind of keeping the ball kind of rolling kind of thing, you know. Alright, 
right, we're gonna hop on this road and we're gonna ease on down the road. But you know what? I believe that that is going to be the title of this episode. Ease on down the road. I mean, of course it is because you guys are watching it now. So I am predicting the title of the uh, video, but you guys saw the title before you saw the video, but I'm predicting it while I'm making the video. I right, never mind. I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the person next to you. That, that's what I'm doing. I don't expect you guys to understand now. I'm talking to your neighbor. Yeah, we get a lot of freeze frames in here. I wonder if it really has something to do with me um, uploading onto YouTube. And why am I going 43? Slide to the left. Get a major freeze frame, and the rain has started to fall. You guys check out the windshield. You all see the rain drops? Yep, I see them crystal clear. So now we hit the windshield wipers, and now uh, it helps them dissipate off our window. Fight on that turn. You, you guys know that I was fighting on that turn? Alright, let's uh. Yes, ma'am. I'm adjusting the uh. The onboard the computers so it'll show the speed. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's what I wanted to say. It shows the speed at the top, uh, and then it shows the cruise control condition, which is not active right now, but I will activate it in a second once I get to 60, which is five over the speed limit. This way, I, I can avoid getting tickets because if you go six over the speed limit in this game, you will get a ticket. So, it's at 60 right now, so, I should be fine. Now, usually I'll have Miss Rebecca with me, but as you can see, she's not here. I got my cooler up there, my first day kit on the floor there. Uh, yeah. Just see. My first aid kit down there, and my cooler that got my little water and stuff. Well, right now it's just water. Cause I'm on a water diet, so. In my fact, I'm drinking water right now as we speak. I'm gonna stop it if possible. Take me a cuddle. Mm. Alrighty. Yeah, by the time I get off this uh, water fast, which is 40 days, I should have the best skin in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Seeing that our body is like 90% water or something, or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a botanist. I'm not a doctor either. This is all hearsay for me. Don't quote me on any other words. I 
Okay, uh, this one had a hard time climbing this hill. Uh, I think this engine is like an 800. Oh look, he go two of my mods back to back. This trailer, Pride Rock right here, Logistics is mine that I put to the game, and the other one is right in front of it, FLS Logistics, which is my actual edition, FLS logistics and that's the uh, rust color trailer um, with the white writing and I also have a yellow trailer whoa dude you're gonna cut in front of me like that you see this oh there it is right there the yellow trailer passing us up that's the other FLS logistics wow that is so unique to have all three show up at the same time there's a pride rock on that side. So, you guys got a little treat there. You guys saw all three of my modded trailers that I modded into this game. Um, I, I don't think, I don't think other people is using this mod in, in their game version. But, uh, I basically just made it for me, but... I think it's available for anybody to use. I don't know how that works. If it is, feel free to use it if you choose to use it. I ain't got a problem with it. Yeah, I don't know how much weight are we pulling. You know, no, no. let me check the manifest because this is a. Uh, Okay, we got a 39,000, well, 40,000 pounds of uh, cans. Why is this engine fighting so hard, period? I don't know, guys. I thought it was a good matchup. Uh, the um, this is a Detroit engine, uh, and I think it's a yeah, it's the Eaton Ultra uh, transmission, 18 speed with the retarder, and the engine is uh, I think an 800, uh, 800 uh, Detroit engine. If it's not a Detroit, it's going to have to be a Caterpillar, a cat, either one, but... It just seemed to me like it was having a hard time pulling the hill, you know what I mean? But now that they got to get up and go, so I'm going to get up and go. down before you get that dreaded ticket. Okay, I got a set of 60, so it, it should level out at 60 and hold. Double trailer of Hell Base, Base of Hell. Uh, I don't like these vehicles because they are one of the ones who just do a regular pace like that dump truck that's passing us. Like, damn, oh, we gotta stop right here. Did you guys see that? It just came out of nowhere. I would just yeah, you know what? Maybe if, if I increase the speed on the windshield wipers, I would have saw that, huh? That's the excuse I'm gonna stick with for now. We got 195 more miles to go, people. This is not a very long trip, and I'm glad of it because I don't want to hold you guys too long.
I just want you guys to enjoy the video, enjoy my little conversation that I'm making up as we go, because my video is never scripted. I'm not into the scripted video, you know, I just, I just get it behind the wheel and I just chatter, you know. Okay, I can pass the way station, that is very good. So what we're going to do for them is we're going to go outside and we're going to turn on our lights. In our um, hazard lights, and we're going to give them a salute by tooping our little horn. Just thank you guys again for letting me use a pass the way things. Alright, now that we're outside, we'll see the uh, mirrors. And I don't wanna, like I said, I don't want to go too fast because I want to get that ticket. I can handle this little, uh, this angle. I'll get y'all some air out here, you know. Hope we brought your umbrella. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that's a dried up river bed right there. And nice turn. I'm glad I didn't destroy these turns. You see, I'll destroy the Yeah, I've been here over because that um, cement mixer in this um, trailer that's developing on this harmless hay bale, they're going to stay at a set speed. And I better turn this side because if not, I'm going to run into either this barrier or the trailer on the side of me. Yeah, those vehicles always go slow. They, they never increase their speed, uh, and they never exit the freeway. You never see one on an off ramp. Well, at least I haven't. I'm not gonna say never because I, I, I have a tendency of contradicting myself. And I'm always thinking I'm right or trying to impress you guys by doing something special, and I speak too soon. Boom, there it is, Murphy's Law. Whatever could go wrong will. How about that? All right, we got 127 more miles. And we only 19 minutes to the video, guys. Yeah, this is a great trip. Even with the rainy weather. Actually, I like it better when it rains. Oh yeah, we can do that. And I'm I'm going way too fast. That because I didn't have it on cruise, I was doing it myself. But I was just thinking, um, how unique that was that we saw all three of my trailers back to back. Because usually I. You're going to see the Pride Rock one, because that, uh, that percentage, I said it to was 50%, so you're going to see a lot of those, uh, uh, they're very common, um, that's what we would call it, the 
the common ratio I set for the that one on the Brian Rogers this past month. That was at 50 percent and um the FLS ones they never gave me the opportunity to set it. So uh, they just show up kinda random. So um, yeah. If you guys can understand what I just said. Uh, I was confusing myself for a minute, but I think I got it. It's starting to get dark, too. What time is it? Game time? It is 7.46 p.m. game time. Yes, it is starting to get dark, because it's time for it to get dark. We left at, I think, about, like, three-something. Almost four. We left, uh... These staples. I got the new rain mod in. Um, you know, the brutal weather. Um, I forget the. Uh, Continue I forget the uh, modder's name. Uh, please forgive me. You guys, uh, uh, if you guys know the author of the Beautiful Weather, uh, hats off to you guy. Uh, I'll look you up and I'll give you your just reward, uh, your shout out because this weather mod is excellent. The, the last one I had was realistic weather, uh, uh, rain, and then I had the add on the realistic rain add on, uh, but it, it, it was nothing like this. I mean, it, it was good. I'm not taking nothing from it. But this here, I like. It is getting dark, and I can't see the dark in real life, so I uh, hope we don't crash. I don't night drive, guys. I really don't night drive. Unless I really have to. So I'm going to get on over in <laughs> this lane, because I don't want to run into the... Uh, Barrier. Now I'm starting to use my brights a lot because I really can't see. What would you call that? Night blind? Or just bad eyes? Either one would work for me. And you can always combine the two. I got, I am night blind because I have bad eyes. How about that? That works. Alright, 37 more miles to go, people. And I'm already struggling trying to see. Let me turn the brights, alright. I know I'm not supposed to have the brights on. We're going to come in traffic. I know, I know, I know. Spare me the lecture. I just can't see. And we're doing. 59 Back down to 55 Because I can't see I got to follow the uh, The markers on the GPS To uh, Kind of estimate myself On these turns Really And I could go in, into the game settings and just uh, I turn the bright up on this thing, but that's not realistic. You know, so let's keep it a dark road, a dark road. Okay, see that? Use 
the right lane, then take the exit on the right. That's me really not seeing. It was the exit on the right, see? Alright, there we go. Take the exit on the right. Am I embarrassed? No. I just can't see. Alright, there we go. Go ahead, Mr. Greyhound, do your thing. This is not bad timing at all. I'm impressed with this. Because we got three more uh, game miles to go and we will be at our destination. No one's coming. Oh! Now they come out of nowhere. hard time with this car because it's there. Remember I got a 53 footer so if I had a 43 or, or, or like a 45 I could make this turn easily but since this car is in the way you have to back up. Because there's, there's no way I'm not going to miss him. He got to back up. Jump this curve. Let's see if I can just barely miss him. If not, I'm gonna touch him. I missed him. Look at that. Now that's driving, people. Because that was the accident that was supposed to happen. I weaseled out of that one. Okay, here we go. Let's turn the brights back on so we can see this turn. Take the left turn ahead. Okay, we're going to the left, you see? Uh, to the left, to the left, watch out. Turn left. Copy right. It must be our turn. Yes, it is. And away we go. Okay, I'll try to do it outside. It's getting wicked. Let me get back inside. It's getting wicked. All right, here we go. made our destination here we are we are here we are here watch this turn just turn you have to take this turn slow just see how my I'm close on that uh, yeah close on that yeah 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 you gotta be careful all right, we are here. We are at the, uh, what's this, the shipyard? Yes, this is the shipyard, guys. Yeah, where's the shipyard? Watch out, boy, train coming, though. All right. Hey, we're here. Let's set our freaks. And let's see where they want this thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna go outside and do it because it's, it's too dark. I can't be able to see anyway. So we're just gonna say, show us where you want it. Um, okay, where do you want it? If, if I mark that, then on the diagram, uh, it's gonna be on the far wall. I, I, you know what? I want to do that because anywhere over here. You got to like, uh, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. I, I, I don't have time to, to describe it. Now, here's the trick. Look at this turn, guys. Yeah. Look at this turn. You got to swing 
if it's all like, you know how many times I have hit them poles and hit this fence right up here? So you gotta kinda like, that's whenever I have it, swing out first and, and then you cut in sharp so you, so you will miss that. The thunder. Yeah, see this. This is one of them tests when you're coming in here. The game is testing your uh, maneuverability skills. Well, it's been many days I have I have ran into that. But you uh, live and learn, trial and error. And we are not at the racetrack. Slow it down, Chief. There you go. And there's our location right there. So what I can do is pull forward up under that uh, up under that crane. Yep, up under the crane here. How about that? Now let's uh, let's turn our overhead lights and background up in there, guys. We can do this, can we? Sure, we can. Piece of cake, put it in reverse and run her back. Now we gotta watch this truck on the side of us here. But we still want it to like feed itself in there. And we just gonna help it. Yeah, we're just gonna help it. That should do it, guys. If you get in there just right, that'll do it. Oh, oh, I turned the wrong way. I turned the wrong way. Yeah, I messed that up. I messed this up. I, but if it turns green, we're going to leave it. No, it's not going to turn green. All right, let's go forward. Line her up. Good street bag. Right, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Now let's drift street bag. Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. Y'all saw it right there with your own eyes. I did that. Okay, let's take her out of the reverse. That noise irritates me, really, it does. But that's that I park the brakes and turn the engine off and have them to unload trailer and that took 34 minutes and some change almost 35 okay now here it is job complete excellent excellent it can deliver it from Los Angeles to Oakland driven distance is 352 miles 8 hours and 32 minutes with the time taken fuel consumed was 48.1 gallons okay the reward the money the experience 
best reward for 352 miles was 90,293 experience points they gave us a 567 okay proficiency bonus level 115 okay they gave us an additional 89,693 never no experience points it comes with proficiency remember that people um long distance delivery bonus skill rank six the an additional four thousand four hundred and eighty four with experience points of one hundred and forty one urgent delivery bonus again skill rank six they added some more uh twenty six thousand nine hundred and seven dollars more with the experience points of a hundred and seventy Trailer maneuvering bonus was what I just did back in there like that. They gave us the max amount of ex, uh, experience points, which is 1,150. Now we add up all the experience points columns, all four columns here. It's going to come up to this right here, 2,028. Now all three columns of, I'm mean, going four columns, pardon me, of money here is going to add up to two hundred and eleven thousand and three hundred and seventy seven do the math yourself you don't believe me because it's right in front of your face i didn't say it it's right there okay now i'm a divine champion because i'm at level 115 i've, I've been a divine champion for i don't know how long they can't find nothing else to call me but a divine champion wow what way to stroke my ego anyway um, time just taken. We're at 37 minutes, so let's go out of this here. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. 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 Why not? All right, and I'm gonna let you guys take a look up under the engine real fast. Let you see what's pushing this thing. The 610 Mac is pushing this. That's what it is. The 610 Mac. So we gotta adjust that to see if I can get that. 1001 horsepower cat in here okay like i said the uh the uh torque on that is 2050 okay the transmission like i said was the eaton 18 speed with the retarder the fuel tank is 300 gallons and like i said it is a w900 the kenworth studio sleeper it is a six by four Here's the stats on the trailers. Okay, it is a single refrigerated, which is, that's why they call it a reefer. Not what you put a match to, people. Come on. Where your mind's at? This is trucking. Okay, but I do, I do know some truckers who put a, a match to their reefer, but that's another Ricky Lake show or something like that. All right, body length. Internal is 59 feet, nine, I mean 51 feet, pardon me, 9 inches. Body width internal is uh, 8 feet, 1 inch. Okay. Uh, body height internal is 8 feet, 5 inches. The tear weight is 19,900 pounds. The axle count is 4. Of course it is one two three and four okay uh, liftable axle we have two that one lifts and that one lifts all right and that's the one that's steerable right back here uh, get to that right there see steerable axle one that that last one back there all right the total length of this trailer is 53 foot, as I explained earlier. So now you have the cut and dry of that beautiful piece of machinery in its uh, luggage. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to get up out of here myself. You know what I mean? So again, I want to thank you all. Oh, she's not even here. I'm blowing it. I want to thank you all for 
coming, I want to thank you all. Oh, matter of fact, if you haven't, if you haven't, subscribe yet. Do your boy a solid. Hit that subscribe button for me. Encourage me to make more videos for you guys. I'm, I'm trying to get quality videos out. I, I'm getting better and better. I need your support to stand behind me. I need you to hit that subscribe button. And also, hit the indicator bell, the one that says all, so that it tells YouTube uh, how interested you in on me making videos and you guys are watching and, and so forth and so forth. But it would really do me a solid if you, you got those two things. And also, drop a comment and let me know that you have subscribed. Say, hey, I subscribed. I'm going to give you a shout out. That's what I'm going to give you a shout out in one of my videos. And it might be more than one because I'm going down on the list and I'm just going to go at random and start calling out the names for those that subscribe. So look forward to that one to subscribe and you hit the notification bell that says all oh. and you drop the comment and say you did subscribe. Let me know. That'll make me feel good and that'll encourage me to keep going forward with this. Oh. It's a rocky road, but you know what? I'm not sure. Anyway, and, and hit the like button too. That made me feel good also. And YouTube looks at that as well. So I'll see you guys in the next go round. Peace out. God bless. And take it easy. I'm out.